cooking lesson is going to be pouch fish. See here I have these lovely blue fish fillets that I got just today. Boston Public Market from Red's Best. Looking delicious. Now blue fish is an oily fish. For lack of a better term it's a little bit fishy. Um, they're very strong on the fish flavor. So uh, you gotta kind of have to cut that. And I found that this is the way that I like to do it best. You'll see that right here I've got some parchment paper on top of aluminum foil. I got a couple of pieces like that rigged up and ready to go. Each one of these is going to be um, one person's meal basically. I have the ubiquitous salt and pepper. I have some lemon uh, wedges or what pardon me lemon slices that I've sliced up on a mandolin nice and thin. I've got some fresh garlic and I've got some fennel fronds right here. These are off the top of a fennel bulb um, and they're going to add a really nice extra special something to the dish. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to lay out the fish on the parchment paper. Just like that. And then I'm going to hit it generously with some salt. Maybe just a little bit more salt on this filet right here. Then I'm going to get it with some pepper. Again, pretty generous. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fennel fronds on top of the fish. So I've got these guys right here. Now fennel has a bit of a licorice flavor. And so what this is going to do is this is just going to give it a little hint of licorice flavor. Now if licorice is not a flavor that you like, then you can always substitute something like dill, um, or you could even do like say tarragon. Um, I'm going to be generous with this just because I want that flavor to really come through. And I'm putting it right on top of the fish so that it can get in there. Um, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to take these lemon rings that I've sliced up. And I'm just going to arrange them on top of the fish, like so. And now because bluefish is kind of an oily fish, as I mentioned, and it has a pretty strong flavor, this lemon is going to cut that, it's going to counteract that oiliness, that strong flavor, and it's giving it a real nice balance. Oop, a couple of seeds that I missed. Let me get those out the way. Seeds are not delicious. So down goes the lemon, and a little extra, I'll throw that over here, and this fully right like that. And through the magic of Pause, when I had all the ingredients assembled before, I forgot butter, but that's important. So I'm going to put some butter on top of these guys, just like that. That's probably about pretty close to a tablespoon each, yeah that's a lot of butter. It's going to be delicious. I don't know that's going to be all that good for you. And last but not least, I throw down the fresh diced garlic. Generous amounts of that on both. And that all is going to flavor it. Make it really buttery and garlicky and delicious. All those things that you want in a dish. Now that's done. We're going to fold the parchment up. And actually wrap this fish real good. Because while we cook this, we're going to steam it. Now if I were doing this in the oven, which you can do, I would have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And you would just put these, these packets on a tray, and put them in the oven 400 degrees, about 10 minutes. But I'm not going to do that today. Today, these are going on the grill. And that's why the aluminum foil is actually here. Just to give them a little bit of extra durability when I throw them on the grill.
Et voila. Two packets ready to go on the grill. That's a dog. You can see that Mr. Grill is white hot now. That's good. That's what we want. I'm going to lift that up. Sorry that it's a little bit dark. And down go our packets. Doesn't really matter where on the grill. Those will stay there on the hot grill for eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes through the magic of Pause I have elapsed. So time to check on what we got here. And I can hear some popping and cracking and sizzling, and that's a good thing. So these are going to go off onto this authentic 1970s plate that I found in my grandmother's attic in 1989. <laughs> and off the grill they are. Through the magic of Pause, it's been about 10 minutes. We need a little bit longer. I pulled it off prematurely. We've got our pouch now on our little 1960s or maybe early 70s plate that I found in my grandmother's attic. And now it's time to open up the pouch and see what we got. You'll see the parchment paper chart on the outside, but that's okay. I'm going to open it up and look at what we got there. You can see all the juice from the lemon has come out. Garlic's all happy. So what we're going to do now is just pull all this stuff off to the side. See that we've got some flaky goodness here on our fish. So now, all of this stuff is edible, but really, main purpose there, look at how easily that flakes apart. Main purpose of all those flavorings was just to flavor the fish. And there you have it. Bluefish in a pouch.